Hello! Welcome to another wonderful video made by me, the Key Keeper, with my handsome and wonderfully talented camera person, UXW Bill. Tonight, we are going to dive into the world of remote key fobs. This key fob was brand new in the packaging, and it doesn't work the locks on my car all the time. So UXW Bill and I concluded that the battery's weak. We tested the battery with one of these handy multimeters and the voltage was low. So we went and bought some button cells. There are 2032s for those that are wondering. Energizer brand. So now I'm going to proceed with the highly technical method of opening this up. Remember, be careful, and if you try this at home, I'm not responsible if you get hurt. Just like that. You come into that edge, you put the blade in there, and you kind of work it sideways to pop the case open. Be careful taking it apart because it can be fragile. There's a battery sitting in there. Again, be careful. Pop it out, and before you go any further, make a careful note of the orientation of the polarity, because if you put your battery in backwards, it won't work. Then we go, and we get a battery. We put it back in the remote, just as we took it out. Watch me put it in backwards. Just like that, kind of make sure it's firmly seated. And then we put it back together. Kind of snap it together. When you got it all put back together and your new battery is installed, you may have to do some kind of reprogramming procedure with the remote to the car. But in the case of my Mercury, I don't have to. So there you go, that was a quick little video on how you place your battery in your key fob. Most key fobs are identical whether it's GM, Ford, or some of the other car manufacturers out there. If you like what you see, please subscribe, comment, and rate my video a thumbs up. Thank you.